Have you ever wondered why some children seem to develop slower than others? It's a question that leaves many puzzled. This phenomenon is often linked to what we call developmental delays. These are not just about learning slower or walking later. Developmental delays encompass a broad spectrum, including physical, cognitive, and emotional areas of growth. Physical delays might be seen in a child who is struggling to reach motor skills milestones, like crawling or grasping objects. Cognitive delays could be observed in children who have trouble with tasks that involve thinking, learning, and problem solving. Emotional delays, on the other hand, are often reflected in children who find it challenging to manage and express their feelings appropriately. All these delays mean that a child is not achieving age-appropriate milestones in one or more areas of growth. It's a complex issue with various potential causes. While there can be many reasons for these delays, one major factor that isn't discussed enough is the role of toxins in our environment. Toxins are everywhere in our environment and they can have a significant impact on a child's development. Take a moment to think about what a child encounters in their daily life. They might be playing in a house painted with lead-based paint or eating fruits and vegetables that have been sprayed with pesticides. They breathe in the air, which, depending on where they live, could be filled with pollutants from cars, factories, or even natural sources like volcanic ash. These are just a few examples of the types of toxins our children can be exposed to. Now, let's delve into the effects of these toxins. When a child is exposed to lead, it can interfere with normal brain development. This could manifest as a range of developmental delays, from issues with physical coordination to struggles with learning and memory. Pesticides, too, can interfere with normal development. Studies have suggested links between exposure to certain pesticides and developmental disorders. Air pollutants can also have a detrimental effect. These toxins can cause inflammation and oxidative stress, which can lead to delays in physical and cognitive development. It's not just about coughing and wheezing, these toxins can affect a child's ability to learn, grow, and thrive. It's clear that toxins can have a profound impact on our children's development. But what can we do to protect them? Protecting our children from toxins might seem like a daunting task, but there are steps we can take. The first step is to be mindful of the food we bring into our homes. Organic fruits and vegetables, free from harmful pesticides, are a good starting point. But remember, washing produce thoroughly, even if it's organic, can help remove residual toxins. Next. Consider the cleaning products you use. Many conventional cleaners contain harsh chemicals that can be harmful to our children. Opt for non-toxic cleaning products or even make your own using ingredients like vinegar, baking soda, and lemon. Not only are these options safer, but they're often more cost-effective too. Another significant source of toxins can be found in our homes, especially older ones. Lid-based paint, used widely before 1978, can still be present in houses and apartments built before that year. If your home falls into this category, it might be worth getting it checked for lead. Proper management and remediation can significantly reduce the risk of exposure, but it's not just about what's inside our homes. Outdoor air pollution can also be a source of toxins. Planting greenery, using air purifiers, and maintaining good ventilation can help mitigate these risks. By being aware of the potential dangers and taking steps to minimize exposure, we can help ensure our children grow and develop in a healthy environment.